and welcome everyone to the first episode of the Obi Wan Kenobi. I keep wanting to call it Kenobi Spin the Cut, but it's the Obi Wan Kenobi. I doubt that's going to fit on the thumbnail, but I'm going to try. So yeah, the three hour earlier drop than usual. I made the fantastic or biggest mistake of staying up for it, which means I I started this thing at like five a.m. or yeah, was it whole last night? Is the five Jesus or God. half four? No, it's five. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, I was already it. awake anyway. Like, I, I'm, I'm a night owl. I'm semi nocturnal, and then it's just like you know <laughs> what? Like it would finish before it even started normally, anyway. So uh, I was like, you know, me being me, going like, oh, these shows are never an hour long, so it's not going to be <laughs> that much. And then fifty-four bloody minutes, minutes for the first episode. I'm like, thanks, Disney. Uh, the one time they, you listen is the one they time they listen to your call. <laughs> <laughs> they listened and answered your call. By the way. <laughs> Granted, for four minutes and ten seconds of this were the recap and the intro, which I was allowed to skip yeah. because I just literally two hours earlier finished my prequel rewatch of the three. Yeah. Minutes. Oh so man, I'm sorry. I was like, That's... skip, skip, is that skip. Torture. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. This is like worth the bat. Uh, I Phantom Menace is okay. Yeah, like it's fine. It, it's not great. It's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of like fluff in the middle of that movie, man. Like that there's a lot of fluff at the so beginning awful. as well. They talk for like twenty minutes about goddamn trade negotiations and taxation. I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> I but I, I, would, I wouldn't much rather listen to that part versus watch the pod racing scene again. Like the I always pod racing scene part. is absolutely the best part of that movie. Really, I, I will fight could people. Not care that. Less. I could care less. I'm an less F1 about fan. I, I like racing and I like yeah. F1. So like, just that is like, yeah, go on. Even though I watched the beginning documentary, and I think that kind of ruined the pod race for me because George is <laughs> like, oh, you can't see Sebulba's pod. At, you know, you, you know he's there, but you can't see it, and he needs to be like this so you, know, you can always see him in every shot. And then I've noticed that you can't see him in every shot. It's just like, oh, <laughs> it just takes. It takes away a bit of the suspension a little bit, but it's. I still enjoyed it. So what do you, it was fun. Where do you rank it? Like, how do you rank the? The, uh, the prequels are all bottom three for me. Yeah. But before Phantom the Men- order oh. was Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of yeah. the Sith being the last one. Yeah. I yeah, that was just fell horrendous. asleep in Attack of the Clones the other night, <laughs> and I have no intention of even going back to like finish the ending oh. of it. Uh, yeah. So that's now my well, bottom one. Revenge of the, the Sith. Biggest, I actually must stay awake is now second to last. But. The biggest problem with Attack of the Clones is like you take a very important uh, myth in in the in the series and you just kind of show it, and it's just like, nah, it's just like every other battle, you know, like it never, it doesn't live up to yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever you're thinking it is, you know. Maybe that's my fault for expectations wise, but like it, when you say, when you say that this part of the 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 myth of, of yeah, Star like, Wars is like the Clone Wars. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, it, oh. it makes it <laughs> okay. It makes it yeah, like in like it makes it sound epic and stuff like that. But it's just like it when you see it, it's like kind of lackluster in yeah. a way. The, my, you know, the but, biggest thing I find with that, and I'm going to keep all this in because it does tie into Kenobi a lot. The biggest thing yeah. with that is it's always, you know, the the clones aren't there. They're uh-huh. all CG. It's never yeah. ever, you know. You ever see Tamara Morrison on um, Camino, and when he's as yeah. Django Fett, you only ever see him like that. You never see him as a clone trooper. Yeah. Like, ever. Yeah. Like, you know, you could have had Cody be oh. had the role. You could have had Rex or whoever. You could have literally put anyone in there. No, so that's the bit. No. See, that's the other problem uh, with Attack of the Clones is like um, the technology wasn't there. To, to, I mean that's uh, a problem through like throughout all three. Yeah, me. You know, it Phantom just was Menace, like, like when there's like a digital hallway and they're trying to walk down yeah. it. It is so bad. It looked, yeah, it looks like they're gonna run like two feet to the left and they run into like a like a green cloth. You know. Yeah, you just wait yeah. for the fault, like the ripple in the fold to appear, just like. But you know, it. I like I. I never. I, I don't ever talk smack about George Lucas because like he took a chance he did it he he did what he wanted with his property it's not mine i'm i'm along for the ride that's all i am you know i just didn't really enjoy the ride yeah, as much yeah. as I, 
you know, uh, I'm not that guy that trash talks, you know, George Lucas, but I just like, it's just, it didn't, it didn't do anything for me. I, no. I, no. Yeah. Um, I will say having rewatched two and a half of them, because I can't really count Attack of the Clones because Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I appreciate a lot of what Lucas tried. And like yeah. a lot of the themes in the arcs, that like I can I can really appreciate that sort of stuff. Midichlorians yeah. still absolutely destroy half of Star Wars for me. I, it's, yeah, it's just like oh, I mean, like, he's important because water bear count is high. I'm like no, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, at, the end of the day, please. <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, he took a chance, just like any other. You know, it's like a chance. Either it's either it's like fifty fifty gamble, whether it works or not. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then on top of that, it's his property. He can do whatever he wants to. You know, I don't have to enjoy it or no. connect with it or anything like that. But like, he is sole owner of that property, and well, not uh, anymore. Rob, he, yeah, well, <laughs> he was. He was. Sole owner, <laughs> I should say. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, you have to give him, you know, the respect that is due. Yeah. You know, just it's just like Kathleen Kennedy. You know, like I get, you have to. Yeah, get yeah, you know, she right. played, she's played, or she has played an important part of Star Wars. Uh, so. In everything, I mean, you look yeah. at her IMDb, IMDb page; it's like everything yeah, that huge. you're. It's just it's one thing after another. You're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I've seen this. Uh, so yeah, I never get on the hate train on these on these creators. You know, like I. The only thing like, I'll say about Lucas, you know, fantastic idea guy, horrendous, horrendous. actor director. Yeah, he's just not a people for it. He's like the Elon Musk of Hollywood. Like he is not. I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> that, that's kind I of. I mean, on Lucas. Like, Elon well, Musk I mean, in terms of like, tough. he's just, he's just not like he. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's not a people person. Like he is a, he, he's a guy that has huge ideas and like, but like when he comes down to directing a one to one person, it's just not there. You know, yeah. like he's just, and then the other problem, the other half of the problem is like you surround yourself with the yes men, and oh yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. The, that's the yeah, biggest that problem, right? Problem. Yeah. yeah, you know, like nobody challenged him, you know, with his ideas. It's just like, oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect, you know. And then you get the end result is Attack of the Clones, you know. Um, so, I mean, it's all three. Uh... Oh yeah, I mean, but like it, it, it's just it. That's I think the biggest part of the problem is like you surround yourself with yes men. And you never really get true feedback, you know. Mm. But I digress. Yeah. yeah, and of course, all of that leads into Kenobi, because it yeah. is a prequel. It is you and McGregor back, which FY everyone knows it. Absolutely, the best part of the <laughs> prequels. In fact, oh, one yeah, of the best yeah. parts of Star Wars in general. Best casting man, ever. The man's too. the goat. Yeah, he's absolutely like, goat. He. Uh, I mean, when you think Obi Wan Kenobi, you think of two people, you know, in that role. You I'd, I'd argue, obviously there's obviously two people in there, but I think yeah. I'd argue a lot more people. You say Kenobi, what is do you think yeah. of McGregor? Yeah. For sure, you know, because he's had well, he's had more screen time. Plus, he's made it uh, he's made it his own, you know, his own character. You know, like it's yeah. yeah. In like in kudos to casting again, you know, like you look at Ewan McGregor and you can kind of picture that him turning into you know you know i say you can you can kind of see the mcginnis you know, yeah try, but like, like the aging into but that the, but i agree he's like the best part of those those uh prequel star wars in like to get to the show man like you know like he acts his ass off in this show like he, these two epi- like the that first episode he barely says a word it's yeah, just you can him see the living pain. life as a bum and yeah. like stealing meat from where he works and all this stuff. Like it's kind yeah. of what's the best when you get a person, an actor like Ewan McGregor, you definitely get your money's worth uh, because like you look in his eye, he doesn't have to say a word. You look at his eyes, you look at the he's he's feeling pain, you know. He's you believe that this guy is like dep- like he's in a dep- depression instead of you know, like so yeah. Yeah, you know, like I also feel like his performance in this is kind of um, partly due to the reaction the prequels got for the last like twenty years or whatever it's been. Yeah, he's, he like he, he's coming to this going like, no, I I need to, you know, you, you can't just phone it in. You you know, people have yeah. slow turned on those movies in a good way. <laughs> with him. Yeah. Like, to, well, I mean, like you look, 
he's he's like he's part like he's majority he lifts he elevates the scene every time he's in, he's in any of those in the scenes in, in his movie yeah. so like yeah. and like you get a person like acting uh across from hayden christensen which like i'm not again i'm not gonna bang i'm not gonna bust anybody down you know uh hayden christensen did what he could you know maybe it was the direction yeah i i don't even believe that to be honest um, I, I think a, a lot of I think, Christensen's performance in the prequels I put down to George. I don't think he's yeah, the greatest actor on the planet because Jumper's not fantastic and he's not fantastic yeah. in it either. Well, but yeah, and, he's absolute like the, he's doing exactly what the there was a real reason why people called him Mannequin Skywalker when those movies came. <laughs> like yeah. he well, is I mean, motionless. Well, I mean, that could be just the direction that George wanted him to go in, you know. Yeah, like, that's kind of why. I, that's why I was saying that. I don't yeah. 100 blame him. Is a lot of it's on Lucas, but it's also then compounded by the fact that you have the Clone Wars, where yeah. Anakin is actually a character. He has a personality. He's endearing, and you can see, you know, the arc that he goes through, and it, it does it far better than the prequels, which yeah. obviously well, that's think... seven seasons of a show, but. Well, I think the, the 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 show was kind of a reaction to the prequels, yeah, not 100%. resonating with people, you know. So they were like, "We need to do something to kind of write the ship back," you know. And, but uh, yeah, you know, and I love the look of of Obi Wan in the show. You know, like he just looks... yeah, it's it's familiar but different. Well, he looks plus he just looks beaten down. He looks just yeah. beaten down, you know. Like he looks you could sand see blasted. He's, he's been ten yeah. years in the sand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, and like you know, slowly everybody it, he feels because like slowly everybody's turning against them. You know, uh, you see Owen, Lars. I mean, you, you you go from the end of the prequels where Owen Lars was kind of uh, welcoming with open arms to now where he is like, stay away from. Him. Don't talk. Yeah. Don't talk. Don't in fairness, you know, when you got uh, Nazi hunters looking for you, it's kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of yeah. bad. Yeah. Not, not well, Nazi hunters like, you know, Inglorious Bastards, more, you know, <laughs> Nazis that hunt, I should say. Right? Hunting. Yeah, well, Nazis. I mean, they're essentially turncoats, you know, too. You know, they're, they're yeah, yeah. the Jedis that were, they were Jedis, you know, they were brothers in arms, you know, now they're just. What are they? What, there was a. Isn't there a term of they happen in? War, war, I don't know. I, I guess Uncle Tom would probably be the best description of that of them. You know, like they were just Jedi's. Sure, right? Just Actually, traitors, maybe, I suppose. Really. Yeah, I guess maybe edit that Uncle Tom comment. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll leave it in there because I, I have no idea about that, so I'm not. If anyone's but, offended, uh, you can type it in the comments. Give me a game. Yeah, me. you can just throw me a. Uh, uh, wasn't intended to be. Yeah. I just realized never just... actually. I, I did the intro to the show, but not who we are. But oh well, it's, it's too late now. It's been fifteen minutes. Yeah, and... you don't know by now. <laughs> it's your own fault. But uh, I, I also like the uh, the aesthetic of the show so far. Oh, it just... looks fat. This show really. It's unfortunate because it really emphasizes how one has a bigger budget than the other. Well, and one can okay. use its budget better than the other. Well, well, no, like this has been. So, I think going forward, the budgets are going to go up a little bit, and I think this is probably one of the first shows that were kind of. Yeah, but even like, you look at Mandalorian, and Mandalorian does so. Th there's that. I always go back to it. There's the one shot. I think it's in Mando season two with the frog episode, the frog uh -huh. lady episode, where the Razor Crest it gets lifted out from the water. It's being lowered down onto the pier, and it gets dropped. Yeah. Right. That shot with the water and the weight of it doesn't look like CG in the slightest. Like. That that was CG artist showing off at that point because the yeah. water reacts. You can actually you have the physical bounce of the ship as it lands and all this sort of stuff. It's actually a Physics. perfect shot. Uh, yeah. It, outside of the opening for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, they had a really like, uh, uh, well, I suppose one division uh, and Loki. I, I'll give Loki actually that. Like, a lot of the CG since the early sh Marvel shows haven't yeah. been up to that. And it's 
I'm not saying they're bad, but there's a distinct difference between the two. Difference. And it's it's kind yeah. of like, oh, how can this, you know, how can we have that man down this, like, he's, the dude's flying in space a ton of the time, and then we get, like, people questioning the CG over this side. I just, I just don't, I'm just like, it's, well, that might change in the next couple of years, you know, or soon, you know. Uh, I mean, I hope so. Yeah. You know, I just want this damn argument. Oh, I think you bad to stop. Like, that's my main gripe. Yeah. Well, that, that argument is never going to end with, as long as people can talk. No, you know? no, it's, <laughs> so, it's true. It's true. You know, you know it, I, I always look at it now as just, I, you do what you have to do. If the person, like, these fans are always going to, there's always going to be a person that has always got to, gripe or uh, mm. being contrarian or whatever you want to you want to say you know and like it you can't stop it no matter what you I don't know how much money you throw at it you know there's always somebody that thinks that i don't know i don't, don't want to get off topic about it you know i don't know because this is about kenobi and not that it's, it's just something that it my my brain just it just clicks and i'm like how have we like you you can, it's obviously a fake city in the, in the second episode they're in. It's, it's obviously yeah. fake because that place doesn't actually exist. But you're like, how? <laughs> how do you get from that? And yet Moon Knight's costume just looks slightly off. Right. Yeah. How, how is this? But anyway, back, back to Canada. Back to yeah. Well, I, I, I give all the credit to Deborah Cho and the writers on that show, man. Like, you know, like, I guarantee you. This this is probably getting one of the shows that turns turns uh, people back to Star Wars because like this is gonna be epic, uh, especially it, this... it feels it because it, it, like, this was honestly I was not expecting this plot in the slightest like even just seeing like you know you get the trailers and you get that one shot of Luke with his little VR goggles sitting on top of the his little house. Uh, you you knew the kid was gonna play a part. I don't know why I never thought Leia would play a part. Let well, alone I mean, be the crux, and then you see like older on when it you know eight years or whatever before it's destroyed, and there she's as a ten year old, and you're like, oh yeah, she knows Kenobi, but we've never seen yeah. like how, like how does she know Kenobi? How does she trust Kenobi? And it, it's like if we have seen it, I can't remember it. It's like, I don't think there. I don't think there was ever really a scene where it, that was establishing that in any way. Maybe, yeah. Because I, I can't remember. That. It's like it I, might be in the I Clone Wars at some point, but I, I don't know. Yeah, but was Leia in the Clone Wars? I think she might have been. Uh, no, she couldn't have been because it was. No, I'm not thinking of Clone Wars. I'm, I'm thinking of. You're thinking of Padme, right? <laughs> No, I'm thinking of Rebels, I think. Well, I think this is the thought process. Isn't like... this set before Rebels? Rebels, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I might be thinking of Rebels. Uh, too far, I can't remember those shows all blended to one for me. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, um, I, I like the fact that it's more focused on Leia versus Luke. Because Luke's been, has been in the spotlight for a long time yeah we we know luke's journey like we, we know that the the kid doesn't know who well he knows who ben kenobi is but he doesn't really have much Can dealings with him because of a new hope we know he's got to be distant from that whereas leia she obviously knows kenobi and that's why she well, sent that's... a message for him right. well this is the this is the chance to fill in the gaps of that mm. time you know um yeah i i love I, the actress is adorable you know she's really good too yeah she you can really see that uh, the the carrie fisher in yeah. that kid it's like yeah they they got that she nailed the hell out of that i will say that the only thing i have wrong with this show is it's not even uh, it's, i don't know how to describe it it's it went goofy and it felt slightly weird considering the tone it, like this show is just straight, and then suddenly you get this little weird, goofy bit. And it's when she's running away from the guys trying to catch her in the forest. Uh, flea, you mean flee, right? <laughs> from the red hot chili peppers. <laughs> red hot chili peppers. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I didn't even. I, I was, I was, I was tired. It was five a.m. I didn't notice. So. Um, <laughs> no, I'm but sorry. like, 
Everyone's falling fun. over like twigs trying to catch this small child yeah. that's not even running. And I'm like, you're grown adults. Just pick her up. <laughs> and then she does like, the same thing to Kenobi in episode two. I'm like, you're a, like, why is he walking and like slowly like, like walking around adults. people? Just like push him out of the way to catch her. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it was just like weird. And it slightly took me out of it for a moment. I can understand the Kenobi part because, like, you know, I think he was more like trying to. He's like, man, I'm not trying to get atten- attracted to attention. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. But yeah. But the 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 Keystone cops on uh, on um, cor- you know, Coruscant or not Coruscant, but uh, Alderaan. Alderaan. Yeah, that that's kind of it was kind of. Goofy. It was just so goofy because like it's <laughs> it literally funny, a right? point where one of them stops walking or moving. And he's like two foot away, and then they just fall over. I'm like, did that just actually happen? <laughs> it's so, it is, it is so funny. It is, and it's, yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be intentionally funny. And it was the only bit that, like, the second that bit finished, I was right back in the show. It was just a proper slight disconnect for just a minute, and it was really weird. <laughs> it was funny though. It was I mean, it's funny, scene. but it's it's one of the bits that's like, I don't want to laugh in this show. This show is like, it seems too serious. Obviously, then yeah. we get Kamel Nagiani later on, and yeah, <laughs> everyone being like, "He's a Jedi." It's like, oh, nah. you're not wrong. You're not wrong until like, so. <laughs> pulls out the magnet. Um, I want to know how strong those magnets are. Have to be strong. Miles man. away from those windows. <laughs> like, I mean, they're wow. alien. I mean, yeah, but that's a, like, why can't we have magnets like that? <sighs> If only because then be you cool. could you could, then you could do it yourself and it's like oh I can't do that with magnets it would never work. It all boils down to jealousy, I guess. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm jealous of Kamel getting to be in Star Wars. Like, it was even very, his character uh, was dumb. He, <laughs> his his character yeah. was not smart in that moment. It's like oh, just jump in front of an Inquisitor. Yeah, cool. Right. Yeah, and like, because you want to talk about the Inquisitors. A little bit sure that, sure because um a lot of people seem to be confused if rebels is now canon and i'm just like guys we've had darth maul sliced in half and then come back for back, yeah. a thousand seasons of cartoon shows you know it's pretty clear da- darth vader <laughs> had his it was decap- well, decapitated but you know amputated on like three separate limbs and then burnt in lava and still somehow walking around i'm sure the grand inquisitor is totally fine having a hole in his stomach yeah uh, it's <laughs> totally it's, fine. It's, it's star wars i mean you, you put him in a back to tank and he's good man exactly you know? star wars has never <laughs> been consistent with death we know this <laughs> yeah i but I, I i also look at it as like they're cherry picking from a lot of stuff, so like, it, you know, it, it, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I was but, like, it's what you know. I the the comics since I believe have made it so the Grand Inquisitor's soul is like tied to a temple or something like that. Yeah, so he's always going to come back. But I, I think that happens after this show, and then obviously he's in Rebels. It's like. We know he's not going to die. Like, for a, a show, not a series or a show, for a franchise that's so meticulous about their timeline and what you can and can't do in it because it might contradict something else, wiping out an entire thing of Rebels when it looks like Ahsoka's literally going to be picking up after Rebels finishes is really weird. <laughs> like, how, why would they do that? It doesn't make sense. I would say to those people to calm down, watch the end of the season, see, and That's then exactly we can pick up, this, I think well. put a pin in this conversation, and then uh, come back and talk about it at the end of the series. But I, so I do you... like the um, the whole thing with like Raver's motivation. That like, obviously she was a Jedi, and she's now just trying to be fitting with the Inquisitors, and that she's not really fitting in. Yeah, it's because she's very, very. <laughs> <laughs> she's very aggressive <laughs> yeah that is, it's aggressive. a massive hint of desperation of like no I need to make this work why I don't know yet because oh. the show hasn't told us this but it's obviously well, I, she I, also I, knows I, I... Anakin as well she knows who Anakin has become which I find interesting because people weren't supposed to know that 
but I look at her her situation is like she like they're looking down at her. I mean, she's technically she's an inquisitor, but to them, she's not really. A, she's like kind of like a second tier version of them. They they look yeah, they yeah. they're they're seeing themselves as superior. Um, yeah. Did you notice this? Did you notice Su Kang, uh, Su Kang, uh, under the, all that makeup? No, Remember? I didn't know. I thought I recognized yeah. him, but I didn't know. I didn't know. That's cool. It's you, you can tell. You can tell like under the makeup, but I mean underneath, yeah, because it'd be him. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, on I mean, top like, of the makeup, tell... kind of nice. But... You can tell by the face a little bit. In fairness, again, at, at that point, it was about 20 past five. <laughs> so you weren't technically awake. Right? I, I was very, very tired. <laughs> very tired. I love, did you love the makeup effects? I mean, the practical effects? And... I have never had a problem with the practical effects with the Inquisitors, especially the Grand Inquisitor. Like people going, oh, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's like, yeah, but look at how the Emperor looked like in the Clone Wars and stuff. He looked stu- He had like a three foot nose. Like he doesn't <laughs> have that in real life. Cartoons are exaggerated because yeah. they're cartoons. Like <laughs> Count Dooku's head wasn't that thin and that long. Christopher Lee didn't look like that. Like, I, his, I, I his beard also wasn't like that pointy and that 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 sharp. Like it's human anatomy doesn't work that way. Exactly, like it's a cartoon. They look different. Right. Could the, style, is the head like, a bit like is the head a bit rounder than the cartoon? Sure. Is it like comically round? Kind of maybe. But well, the cartoon looks uh, totally fine. The cartoon is, is like egregiously stylized when it comes to like human beings and like yeah, yeah. features and stuff like that. There's it's and it's like yes, I know you see one of his species in. I think it's a no. Is it, yes, is it Attack of the Clones? Attack of the Clones. Yeah. yeah, Attack of the Clones. Like you see one of his kind in there, and like yes, the head's very thin, and it's it's like elongated, and you can see all the ridges and whatever. Great, that CGI and it looks like ass in the movie. I'm um, just 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 a fact. Yeah. It, it looks awful. Like right. here, it looks like a. You know, it looks like it could exist. Like. It, it's you know who it is. Just get over it. Right? It's, it's yeah, funny. I think I think some sometimes people get lost in the uh, like the aesthetic of like what a character looks like. They just oh don't, yeah, yeah, you know, like they kind of like it, it's just like everything else. They get they want they want the character to look just like what they they imagine or they pictured it in the comics yeah. or or cartoons. I say or the whatever, co- but, Marvel and the comics get it. Star Wars and the cartoons get it. It's, it's yeah. always going to happen. But it's like I I don't pay any attention to criticisms <laughs> criticism no. like that or just it's just nitpicking you know like I think the makeup effects is awesome like the they they like Star Wars has never had a pro- huge problem with like like effects like that you know like the alien I mean because it's like the bread and butter you know you have to have like yeah yeah <laughs> really good I will say that compared to you know every like creature design Star Wars has had I'm, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I definitely think there could have been maybe a little bit more put into the look of it, but I'm not going to complain about it. He looks fine. He looks totally yeah. fine. We know how his story ends anyway, so it's like, it's whatever. Right. <laughs> but like, I, the, 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 like when you get later in the episodes, like the, the other, like, I, you know, it's, I don't know, man, it wasn't, it's not egregiously bad, you know? No, no, it's, it's not bad. No, no. It, it it's perfectly fine. It's just it's fine. But totally fine. So, but I I have to say, speaking of the Inquisitors, because the moment when she tells Kenobi that Anakin is alive, like Ewan's face is just like, oh my god, uh, this yeah, guy you can see is the, the pupils acting the hell out of that role. Like, oh my god. He looks terrified. Yeah, yeah. Because the last time oh, we saw what, the guy, there was that moment, and there's another moment as well. And I can't. Oh, I'm gonna. I know I was talking I mean, so about it. There was two. The oh, it's at, when he sees the the clone trooper on the street. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna get. And like, that. it's that genuine look of like sadness oh. and fear. 
Yeah. That, like this guy is just like there. It's like, oh <laughs> I I love that I love that scene by the way. That is like probably my favorite uh scene in the whole show so far. What well, Hobo Tamara. Yeah, I think that it, it tells a lot about where where everybody where the where everybody is because like at this point the, the, the clones are relics, you know, and like Yeah, they've sure. all phased well, I say phased out, they've all like died or whatever or they're still yeah. some are somehow kicking around but ones but, that aren't are just there uh. yeah i just i love the fact that it kind of it tells you like because not all the clones are doing well you know like this guy's he's a hobo you know he's, he's a space hobo mm-hmm. you know and like in and, and the look in uh obi-wan's eyes is like you can tell is, they really leaned in the Clone Wars here because yeah. that is a look of absolute, you know, absolutely a look of someone who's been with like Rex for years, and that in like he's he's staring in the face of a guy of of a person that has killed his his brothers and sisters, you know, and like he, but also someone he's fought alongside with for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that there's that that, and then at that moment he's like he's it's like fear and like compassion all in the same. Emotion, yeah, you know, it's like it, he's like it's such a good shot. It, oh. Yeah, and also and it's like, you know we finally have practical clone armor, unless it was all yeah. practical in um Mando in the last season with the Grogu shot. But it's like it, it look it looks great in that. I say in, like, in both but, the Mandalorian one where it's the Grogu Grogu flashback, and in this yeah. one they look fantastic. It's so much better than having the CG. <laughs> oh yeah, so the CG better. floating, uh, the floating look, you know, like uh, it would just look like this weird shiny plastic. No, but, uh, but yeah, no. like the, I mean that scene right there is probably one of my favorite scenes in the in the first two episodes. It's just like it it encompasses agree, like yeah. it, it encompasses like everything. The it's like it's like trapping the the moment in time of where he is right now. Like Obi Wan's not the yeah, only person yeah. that is. If you, you know, want like, like the tone of the show and kind of a, a you know an idea of where the, this world currently is, that's the it, the moment you, you show. It, it's kind of sad in a way because it's like these these I don't, don't want to like they're people, right? You know, like they're just thrown yeah, away. Yeah. You know. Yeah kind of thrown away like trash and forgot it it reminds me of how veterans yeah. are made are treated i was gonna, I was gonna say like the, yeah the veteran system in america yeah like well, to it, be fair it, in the world you know we're not much better right. like it, they you know like if you look i mean i've i've had people that i know are homeless and you know and don't want they can't get it like it, this guy the, the, the character looks just like every other person that i've ever no, you know that's in this current situation you know and like yeah. it's kind of pony it, it 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 goes back to what star wars is about you know it's like this the issues of star wars was it's not just sci-fi it's social issues too you know and like it in that one one little scene it, it like it tells you it, it tells you where the world is you know where mm. what, without actually telling you you know you know what what era this is you know but yeah, yeah. Also, you know, uh, you could also make the allegory that the um, like the Jedi's are Jews and you, the Inquisitors are Nazi hunt, like Jew hunters and all this. Yeah, like a very obvious comparison to make. And that's when Star Wars is at its best when it's you know talking about actual the, real world issues and all this. Socially, yeah, the, the social. Because mm. I mean, that's what sci-fi is all about, right? Exactly. Sci-fi. Yeah. And I'll never yeah, understand sci-fi. people going like, oh, I want my sci-fi to be escapism. Like, I, I, I get it, but the, your escapism has always had something to say about yeah. a real-world issue. The escapist I mean, part is was... everything ending happily. No. Yeah, that's how sci-fi was developed. You know, like, it was yeah. the way to, you know, it was the way to tell you, to show you the issues that are going on currently, you know, without... You know, it, it, I don't know. I mean, sure, if you want that, you can go go watch a RoboCop movie. Oh, yeah, even RoboCop. I, was saying, <laughs> like, even RoboCop. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, you can't escape it. There's you turn your brain off. Or... Nothing. Everything yeah. you love and hold dear was built on having something to say. 
and, it, and if something. it doesn't have some, if it doesn't have something to say, then it's not worth watching. You know, like exactly, yeah. yeah. You know, you, you, like that. That's it. That's my my opinion. You know, it's like it's. Mm. Tell me Consciously something. or not, even if someone tried to make a sci-fi or anything, there would still be something where you would have yeah. that. The, whatever you said well, would have a say in something. Well, it's baked into the uh, DNA of, of, the, of the of the product, you know. Like so, it's inevitable that you're gonna have a a connection to problems or whatever was going, whatever's going on currently in the world, you know. Like so, it's, exactly. like, you can't really escape that. That is, you know, it's just part of the DNA of that of that product. But yeah, I mean, I, I also love the thing, the love the fact that he did not. Uh, light turn the lightsaber on. Yeah, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was so oh, waiting for it. It's like, I, I, I oh, it. I, that's, that's not. I'm, I'm glad you brought the saber up. Actually, this man's memory. He's been hiding for ten years, yet he remembers the exact <laughs> spot in a desert <laughs> where There's he no buried his lightsaber and all the lightsabers, and it wasn't that far under the dune, like. That's incredible. Nice. I was gonna say like that was that was another that was another moment that I kind of like at least cinematically it looked really cool you know where he like he but I the 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 the, the reality is like I, I say, it's been one of those like, where miles. it would have been totally fine if there was like an above shot and there's like a thousand holes where he's been trying to do <laughs> that totally fine I would have I would have been perfectly fine the fact that he was like. Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's like, yeah. how? <laughs> like, he sensed it, okay? He sensed it. <laughs> <laughs> he sensed the kyber crystal yeah. and the saber. Um, I mean, if they want to make that, th- I don't know if that's actually a thing or not beforehand, but is if they want to make that a thing, totally fine with it. It would make sense. I like. I also like the fact that he's got uh, um, Anakin's. Anakin's, yeah. Because, of course, he has it anyway in A New Hope, so he has to yeah. have that thing with him. I just love the fact that he's just like he's just a hermit, you know. Like it, it like I remember watching. I love the, the fact that the jar was saying he stinks. No, that's, stinks that's, yeah, that's, no. it's like yeah, of course he would be stinking, you know. Like there's no water. Well, where are you going to take a shower? Where are you going to take a bath? Um, I but, mean, not when yeah, the jar was, was stealing like your your vaporizer, gather a fucking process board. No, <laughs> those little bastards. Well, um, <laughs> I love Jawas. They're so cool. I, I, yeah. um, I loved. It. I love how they were treated in the uh, Mando. The like they were treated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know, I, I love. Yeah, it, it's just. I think the, this is like a very strong two two episodes to start out the gate. You know, I honestly or, think it might might actually be the strongest Disney Plus show to start. Yeah, I have to agree. Like, it, it, it just, it, it does a lot with little action, you know, and like little dialogue, you know, like he, oh, like very even, little dialogue. Ewan right. McGregor tells a, a very good story without, like, just with his eyes, you know, and like the way he looks and like hmm. he, he, he's, it, <laughs> yeah, I love that interaction between him and Bale, you know, and Bale's basically begging him to to help. Um, I adored that. It's just like, oh, look how far this guy's fallen. Yeah, he's like, he's no, like go away. You're gonna like rat me out. He's like the gunslinger that uh, that hung up his, you know, spurs. Mm. But yeah, no, I, I I adored literally everything about this. You can tell that so much has gone into this show, and they're de- the writers not are- desperate to make it work. Like they really want, they, like they need it to make, like need it to work, and it does, especially with the. Especially with Boba Fett being um, kind of middle of the road, you know, like yeah, yeah, definitely. Like if this was in that scene, if if this started, you know, of course it's just starting out. You never know how it's going to be received after that, you know, because. But uh, no, but a strong start, like, especially this strong, is it's, it's encouraging. It's like well, yes, like, no, they they they, they knew they. <laughs> how you know mandalorian it could have gone either way it's like oh it's a brand new character whatever uh, if it doesn't yeah. work out like yes it'd be unfortunate because it's the flagship for disney plus at the time but mm-hmm. it was always going to be big no matter what 
yeah, especially, when, I mean, especially when you've got a baby Yoda, like, yeah, you, you're kind of manipulating people with that one. But when you do something with a character like Obi-Wan and with Hugh McGregor, who people adore, whether you like the prequels or not, everyone agrees that he is, like, the GOAT. Yeah, he's the GOAT. You, sure. you can't mess it up. <laughs> like, you mess it up, there's literally going to be hell to pay. Oh and yeah. I would have I'd hate to see the timeline where this show started really badly. Yeah. Cuz <laughs> there'd be fire <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I know they took they took a lot out of the uh the original script of the movie. They kind because of, wasn't but... it too bleak or something? Yeah. yeah. But I mean maybe that's why they had I the think... goofy running scene. Yeah. I think that you can't have a show like this be whimsical or anything like that. You know, this is no. It's got to be pretty bleak. It's got to be bleak. You know, there's got to be a sadness to it. You know, like if it doesn't, then you know, it's, it's like this is point. your old man Logan of Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, like, no, for this, sure. this is you know the or the Logan of Star Wars. I should but, say it's it's that old man retirement thing. Yeah, he's in hiding, and yeah, I that's a great example i mean that's probably it's probably better it's probably better than logan so you know but uh you know it, it does have that 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 feeling to it for sure also i Obi, uh not i'd be one's daughter <laughs> you and mcgregor's daughter sold in drugs in this and i found that hilarious i don't know how i don't as a father i wouldn't know how to feel <laughs> I would be it's like, like I know it's fake and all that, but like, god damn, like, don't try and sell me spice. Like, oh, yeah. It'll take you away. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I good to see. Jimmy I, I, I can't say too. how good this show is just from these two episodes. It's how how many episodes is it? Is it six? Six, yeah. It's still the six. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. I, I should have known that. I just I was I couldn't remember that... if they changed it or not. But. But if it like if it ends strong, um, then this is probably gonna be the best uh, Disney Plus show out so far. If this like, show can just be, if this show's consistent for the next yeah. four weeks, and if hey, if they can redeem Hayden Christensen, oh, the, and he I like knocks tell- this shit out of the park, it might legitimately be my favorite Star Wars thing ever. I, I can tell you. Uh, for honestly, I, I seen the episodes with Hayden Christensen. It, there is, it, it like I said, it makes a lot a difference between the person directing the uh, the person. Like, yeah, you're gonna see a completely different performance, and it, it shows on screen. Like, yeah, he's not that he's not that mannequin Skywalker from. The, Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Like, because. I was never worried when they announced he came back. I was excited because, like, yes, he's he's getting that second chance, or technically fourth chance. You know, he had fourth chance. Third. Yeah. Uh, I, I, there's me thinking he was in Phantom Menace, but it wasn't. That was Jake Lloyd. So it's his third chance. It's like he, he's getting another shot at it to do it right. To get and to you can re- really tell it's personal. Like every time yeah, you see well, him I mean, or like read what he's spoken about with his show, it's like, yeah, this this man is desperate for this to be right, and I, I've got total faith that he's gonna. Well, I mean, it's it's. I mean, let's face it. Like, I'm sure it, it's kind of a stain stain on his career. You know, like it. I mean, what career? You did like what Jumper, and that was it. Jumper. Well, he did a few other movies, but like, like he, he like. In in those movies, there he wasn't bad, as bad as he was in the, the no. prequel. He's not horrendous in Jumper. He's just, it's just. I mean, again, yeah. the, it's the material. <laughs> it's the material. You know, I like the movie. He's, he's just not the yeah, best. Jumper part. was fun. Jumper was should have got uh, a sequel. I like that movie. Samuel L. Jackson. Come on. Yeah. Blonde hair, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> that was weird. Um, but. uh yeah, I, I I honestly think people will enjoy his performance. Mm. I I desperately hope, and I don't want you to say a damn thing on this one way or I the other. It. I desperately yes. hope there's a live action shot of Clone Wars Anakin and Obi Wan. 
Well, that's Give it. Me, I, I need that flashback, and I need to see Christensen play it as Clone Wars Anakin. Because if he, if he played it as that in the movie, obviously the show came after the movies, but if he was like that in the prequels, so much would have been better about those movies. Yeah. Like just believing his character and believing he's going through all this stuff makes that would have made those movies ten times better. Well, it'll show like that the direction that George gave him was wrong, you know, and like it wasn't mm. him that was bad. It was just the direction or the or the words, you know. So mm. it's a bit of a uh, redemption for him, you know. I think. Good. That's what I. That's what I want from him in this show. No, if he's just Vader, it'd be a bit of a waste. It's like, oh, he's in the suit. To be fair, it'd be nice that he has he actually gets to wear the suit and you know be Vader for a change. But it'd be like, yeah. oh, I need to see Clone Wars Anakin. <laughs> Give me that now, like, please. Come on. Yeah, and but. it'd be it would be interesting to see uh, that because like they were. I think again, you know, like the the interaction between them were probably one of the best parts of the prequels. Whether you, you know. Whether he was, I mean, half of them were, yeah, half over, yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but they were probably my favorites parts of of the movies. You know, like everything else was kind of like wasn't, you know, mm. wasn't good. But again, long. like it's, it's going back to what I was saying earlier. At least for me, you know, despite the execution of it, I can appreciate their arc together throughout all three movies. Yeah. I can it's really appreciate what Lucas was trying to get across and what Hayden was, tr- you know, I, I don't believe Hayden wasn't trying. I just don't think it was Lucas's direction. Uh, it's, direction. Uh, you, you can see what it was supposed to be and how it was supposed to come across. And it's like, yes, that's, that's totally fine. That, it's, all, it's all great. It's just, it needed that little rework. Yeah, it just needed somebody else to to write things. Because even that the one time, like the you know the one singular moment that Christian gets to act in the prequels is that "I hate you" line, and even then it's like I don't buy it because the he's <laughs> been really bad throughout. Yeah, so, oh, it's so bad. But, yeah. um, we'll see. I, I'm I'm praying that he he gets i i can't see how they wouldn't give him his moment that'd be such a missed opportunity but i'm, I'm praying why why get the why get the person if you're not going to show the person so. exactly exactly you, you know it's going to be weird bring... it's like holding a minute you're in this time era but you i suppose they're going to de-age him more than likely wouldn't they like because you, you can, look you old can... for a teenager <laughs> like that. then you can oh yeah you de-age that's that's no problem you know like they, they but like you you could put anybody in the suit and just had him do voiceover. You know, they're they're yeah, toting, yeah. they're touting him as being in the show, not you know, like his voice only, you know. Yeah. But But I'm excited. This I, I've gone on a hell of a ride with this just the the idea of this project, really. Because when <laughs> when they had all the anthology movies, I was so I just didn't care. I just didn't give a crap. I had no interest. It's like, we've had Kenobi's story. There's literally nothing you can tell. Lol jokes on me. There's obviously something else you can tell. There's a 10 year, nice little 10 year gap right here, or eight year gap. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's like, well, what can you do? What's the point? You don't need it. And then, you know, then it became a show. It's like, oh, okay, maybe. And it's like, oh, I don't care. And you see that first train, it's just like, okay, I'm kind of interested now. And then it comes out. It's like, okay, now you got me 100%. Like, I, I was there, dumb for even questioning it. Right. There's another show that you're going to, it's, you're, I think you're going to have a, a, more of a come to Jesus moment too. So the, the more they, people tell me about, that how I'm gonna like Andor, or Andor's gonna be surprising. The more my heels get dug in, and it's completely <laughs> unintentional. I'm I'm starting to like get to the point where it's like, no, I'm not gonna like now. this show. <laughs> I just sheer spite. I'm not like this show. I don't care. Right. I don't like. Because that's the thing. I read like I could have gone my entire life without seeing Rogue One. <laughs> I, 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 I I I've missed it. nothing from have, no, not I, watching that movie. Obviously, I've seen it, but. I love Rogue One. I love. I, I know. I know. It's. It's. I don't know, man. Like it. It something. 
was there i like you know i, lo- I love the the like the characters and stuff like that they I, I i in my opinion i think they did it pretty good you know i think they successfully like bringing in saul Guerrero, like that was a good moment you know and that's the beginning of bringing some of the ro- the, uh, the the clone wars characters into live action and i don't know i mean i i, I give them i give them kudos for taking a, a, a line of dialogue and turning it into a fucking movie that was successful yeah but i mean I, that, that's part of the reason why i can't stand that movie it's a, it's not even a line of dialogue. It's a line of text. <laughs> no one needed that movie to exist. And then to, it, you know, it's you've made a prequel that didn't need to exist, and now you're making a prequel about a character that we know dies five years later. Well, and I, why I, is it twenty four episodes long? Why is it two seasons? Why is it twelve? Per, I, I everything about that show kind of like makes me a little bit mad <laughs> just a I think, tiny I little think, bit mad. it sounds personal now but, <laughs> but i i know i i i think that dude, i don't know man there, i think there's a story to tell you know like i think i think it's disney's way of taking characters and maximizing it and you know expanding the universe a little bit you know like like it's 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 character like I don't know. You, man. Like, it's just it's, a pre. Like, obviously, Obi Wan's a prequel to. Well, it's not actually a prequel. It's a sequel to a prequel to a whatever the <laughs> present thing is. Um, it's a conundrum to the trilogy, but it's you know it's a prequel to a prequel that didn't need to exist, and it's just it. To me, the, the whole con- me. the whole co- <laughs> it, it, it is slightly personal. The, the whole concept to me. Is everything wrong with franchises and IPs? People go, oh, Hollywood's out of ideas, or here you go, here's Andor. Like, okay, I, we're out of ideas. Like, I, it's just, it's I, that. <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> I'm looking at it at a different angle than other people. Uh, but I mean, people like, love Rogue One. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm like, no, people well, hate no, Rogue like, One. Like, there, there's plenty movie. of people that don't like Rogue One too, but like, I think taking something and expanding it is not inherently bad i think sure, no it's not we can make more char- we can make new characters sure that's in the future it's it's guaranteed that all that stuff's going to happen but like i think ex- i think it it's a clever way of expanding the old universe in a way that it, it also gives you new characters and also uh brings in characters that you're familiar with um cassie and andor i, I th- in my personal opinion i think there's something there you know, especially yeah. with with the character. If it was any other character, I thought Cassian Andor was probably one of the better characters in that in that in that movie, all because like he he looks haunted. He looks like he's done things. Like up to this point, everybody loves the rebellion. They're like, oh, the rebellion's so good. They do good, but like he he tells you he's like, nah, they're good. Yeah, but they've also done some pretty horrendous things. And like and like the character looks really haunted. Like he's done a lot of bad things. He's done it for the right reason, I guess. But he's done a lot of bad things, and it it kind of has parallels to how. I, I mean, it, I see parallels in in like the U.S. Army. It's like you know, like the U.S. Army is portrayed as being a entity of good, but it's like nobody really knows that. Like, there's also gray areas. Like, and I think yeah, that. The, the show is going to look at those gray areas and like, you know, and then it'll bring you up to that point where he is like, he looks drained and dead in this in, in that movie, you know, like he's just like, I've been doing this for so long. I'm not even going to qu- I'm questioning it, but I'm just going to do it anyways, because it's part of my job and I'm a part of this, you know, whatever. But like, it's going to be interesting to see how he got to that point. I don't know. I, I, I think there's a lot there you know, that you could do with the, with the show like that, because he's, he's kind of a blank slate. You can do anything. You don't have a, a set no, parameter. But, but you can't do anything because you have to get him to a certain point. Yeah. But like there didn't, it's not like they're doing like four seasons and then that's it. You know, like, no, it, but it's it 24 looks... episodes. I can't even get a season two of one division <laughs> yet. We're having 24 episodes of and or what? what yeah. But the, the, <laughs> but the thing with WandaVision, the way they ended that show is like it. If they did a, a second season of that show, it would be a 
massively completely different movie show, and it wouldn't be called. That's, ta- that's totally fine with me. Uh. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, it, like it, way the way they left those characters off, it doesn't see it. The only, I don't know. It, it I, 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 I just think Andor has potential to be a good show. Um. And I think I mean Diego at the end of the day, is... that, yeah, yes, there's potential to be a good show. I it, it's it's a show for a character I couldn't give a okay. single time. Fair enough. Uh, it's, Fair enough. You know, Rogue One, nothing clicked with me. The only Fair thing enough. that was cool about Rogue One maybe was the Vader scene at the end, which was tacked on at the last minute. And it's like it, it, so it's, you didn't like the whole I didn't like the you, you, didn't, you didn't like it, you know. You didn't like the movie because it was just. It was just. I, 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 I didn't. I don't see a reason for that movie to exist. I don't see a reason for the show to exist. I all I see is some money that could have gone on more interesting ideas. It. It's also the you no. Know, for someone that's not the biggest Star Wars, like I, I enjoy Star Wars. I'm not going to mm. be out here being. You know, I'm not. I'm not a Jared. Right, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to base my YouTube career around Star Wars and my excitement for <laughs> everything Star Wars. You know, more power to him, right? Yeah. I despise the fact that Star Wars is so centered around one specific point in time. Like, yeah. this literally what, it's, it's a 60 something year time span. We can't get away from it. And Andor is the embodiment of that. We have to be right in this time period. We can't possibly move away from this thing. Well, and I mean, now we, they, we've had the movie with him in it that he dies, and yeah, great, fantastic. And yeah, now we have the, a series leading into that, like, eh, it's, or two I, I, seasons I, leading into that. It, it's just, it's so, it's the most uh, for I me, mean, for me personally, it's the, the the absolute worst thing you could have presented me to. It, like, if Andor was first with Disney Plus, I wouldn't have got mm-hmm. Disney Plus. I would have held off. Really? Yeah. I just could not care. And does, I, like, no matter what anyone says, I couldn't care. I just, that character <laughs> has no personality whatsoever. Really? There's nothing interesting. Like, it, maybe some characters in Rogue One have potential. Like, if this was, um, I can't think of their name, are the two everyone loved from Rogue One? Blind oh, stick. Biz and... Like th- that, those two. If it was those two, cool. There's a story there, and that's interesting because they were different and quirky. But Andor was literally just female Jin Erso, and Jin Erso was boring as hell anyway. Uh, I don't know if I, like, I, there's, I, there's, I, there's, know if there I was, agree with that. There's such blank characters, and they're so boring to me. Uh, I, don't know. I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, I, I think that. There is pr- like, but I will I say, in to, fairness, to me, Cassie and Andor, in I, I, I looked at Cassie and Andor, and I'm like, I see, I've seen a lot of people when I look, look, and I'm going to bring back the army stuff again. But like, when I was in the service, I, I seen a lot of people just like him in there. I mean, that's dead that's fine. Soul, that's fine. Dead, dead in the eyes, soulless. Um. I'm interested to see how he got to that point. You know, I maybe I maybe that's why I resonated with that character a little bit more. Um, and I I don't have like I'm not it's not an affinity for the character, but like I I get I don't think he was a blank slate. That, that's he, a, that's a difference, right? You you have something you can latch onto for that. Yeah, well, I so mean, it, that gives you a reason to be even remotely interested in that character. I have literally okay, no reason. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. But I will say to cap it off. <laughs> I thought the same about Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett! I mean, come on, Boba Fett like, was to talk about a blank state, nothing character that has absolutely I, nothing going for him apart from maybe the uh, character. Like, I, I think Cassian Andor, Andor had more. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's than... like, I'm not. I'm not saying that one had more than the other. I'm just saying uh-huh. like, they're both. No, Boba Fett had the cool factor like, that that was something over Andor, maybe. But you take away that cool factor, there's nothing to Boba Fett. Well, there wasn't any, <laughs> but like they they made a show, good or bad, in in mm-hmm. what your opinion is, that, built that character actually gave him a character, and he now has a, an arc he can go on, 
or a personality. <laughs> you know, really. he, he's, exactly, he's, he's got a personality. Like they've made, you know, despite the show being mid for me, like a bit mediocre. Yeah. It's not horrendous. It's not great. It's in the middle, yeah. It's better than Rogue One, personally. Wow. But like, it, it's, I, it's it's right there. So like, it's you know, there's there's something interesting with that character now. Whereas they could they could very well do the same for Andor. We come back to this show in September, whenever it's come uh, out, and I'm a completely different person, change my mind and eat the crow. Maybe. But as of right now, I couldn't even muster the idea of maybe giving it up. <laughs> Like that, I that just, trailer did the nothing for that me. You're <laughs> like that, uh, it is just I. If I flatlined, yeah. if I had a heart monitor and I flatlined on watching that trailer, <laughs> there might have been some activity in my in my soul at that point. <laughs> I, I am less than flatlining with that. Just the idea of that show. But fair enough. That, fair that's enough. September. We are now with Obi Wan. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. It's um so yeah. The... I will say the the guy banging the anvil in the trailer was probably the only good part for me. No, that, that that was kinda cool. Um yeah. so so uh the third episode is gonna be really fun too of Obi Wan. Wait, I'm gonna say it I think I asked it before, but it's once a week now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's that's totally fine. We're gonna have we're yeah. gonna have overlap with Miss Marvel. I have no idea how we're gonna handle it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Sl- sl- that's another that's another show I think a lot of people have been like up until the review like people starting to review it so- recently, I think a lot of people have written that show off. I the- I mean there might be some people that have written it off. a lot of what I've seen is it's just it's just me. It's just it's mad about the power change. But yeah. if specific links are to be believed and <laughs> I, I, I don't mean, know. I don't trust you in the slightest. So one, one way or the other, like <laughs> it's it, I, I that show is frustrating, I, right? Because it looks like the perfect Miss Marvel show, bar one thing, and it's but, so close to being exactly what it needed to be, but it's not say, because of some dumb shit reason they're telling people, and it annoys me to believe. Well, I, I think that that's the part of like I think a lot of people took that first trailer and ran with it and just kind of like, I don't like this. You know, it's like, you haven't even seen the show, and you're already writing it off. You know, like... All yeah, but it's like, it's, very... it's like if you take Spider-Man and but, but not you have, give him the like the spider powers, like... But you shouldn't judge, you shouldn't judge it You shouldn't, something... no, but it's incredibly hard not to when they, the purpose of a trailer is for you to judge it. Yeah, no. They're, think, they're, prese- they're, they're presenting. The whole point of a trailer is to present you with something that you can form an opinion on, to whether you want to see it or not, to whether you well, think it I, looks good or not. That is the sole purpose. I, of I it. think, well, yeah, of course. But like, I think that I think people are being a little bit hard on it because oh, they probably are. Not, well, they're not showing yeah. things that they want. It's typical. You're not giving me something that I think is going to be given. But like, you know, yeah. like I, I think people need to be a little bit more. I think I think MC, the MCU has given given nobody any any reason to not doubt that they No, be but th- that is the most another frustrating part to it. This is wildly a topic to Kenobi, but I think it all, plus, the, it all, it all, plus, all rolls into one conversation. Like it's they haven't changed a single one. So why change Kamala? Well, Again, you know, like maybe like, they haven't. Maybe the leaks are true, and maybe it's all part of the plot and the story. If it is, cool, great. It's an odd choice you made there, but it was the <laughs> idea I thought they were going to do anyway. So I'm I'm totally on board with it because I like my own idea. But <laughs> well, plus, for, for plus without the, seeing the, the, the creators of the trailer, it's kind of it is. You got nothing. You got no context to go off. They're purposely yeah. get, like giving you this stuff that they know isn't what people want or expected it's it's the reaction you're gonna get yeah of course and, and i don't think that i don't think people are blaming anybody for the but it's like some fan some fans need to kind of get context before you start judging things fully yes they do yeah they do. i agree and also i'm one like, of them the, I, I need to like the, relax the creators of the the creators of the of the character are directly involved with the show see i so you got it. I, I don't like that argument. 
I, I think deep, that. Well, no, but deep down inside, you got to realize that if they were going to make very stupid major changes to a character, do you think that would be? I don't know. You know, I, I just comes down to you. I think I always try to wait. Like, I watch the trailer. Sure, if I like the trailer, I'll. I'll form a a opinion, but I'm not gonna like go on a you know Twitter rampage or Facebook rampage about like I, I hear a lot of people just blatantly, like blatantly going after the company, like stupid Disney, you know, doing something bad to to a character I like, you know, it's like yeah, that that that's stuff stuff that that that's stuff context, stuff. bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. context is everything, you know, like you like. I don't know. It, I, to me, I always like to. It, 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 it's like with Boba Fett. It, look, I, I went through with Boba Fett the whole thing, and I'm not a hundred percent like, oh yeah, this is the greatest show ever. You know, it's like I realized there were problems with that show, and I, I, my opinion changed throughout, like throughout, like throughout the season. You know, so I don't know. It, it's just it's it's frustrating to hear people. It, it's it's popular to. To douse the uh, the the company for of course of course it is you know it's, it's something that it, it, they're they're on top right now they're always going to get this shit but that's something like it's, it's just going to you, different... you can't stop it like, yeah well that's like happen. a different conversation altogether because yeah. like it's but like but, it, but going think... back to the the creator thing quickly I I personally don't like that argument because it makes it, it it makes them infallible. Like they can't possibly no, no, no. have they can't possibly have a bad decision because they're the original creators. No, like, but like, are it, a good idea because George Lucas thought of it. Like it's no, no, that, no, no, that's no, my no, thing I, with that argument. I, the I, only I thing that I say that. that the only reason that I say stuff like that is like because they are like if it was so the creators have of the character are involved because you want to put as much care and love into the character and like they're not gonna like I mean like George Lucas did it, I guess, but that's what he wanted to do, you know. Like that was his character. I don't. I, I don't but know. This is I, theirs, I, though. It's, it's it's the same. It's the same situation. At least from from an outside perspective, where you don't know the inner workings. Like you know, you got you got this character whose entire purpose of her powers was supposed to be ugly. They're not supposed to be the big glittery crystal things that the typical teenage girl has. She's supposed to defy that that trope and that stereotype. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we, we can and they've then just given her after... glittery crystal powers. It's like, oh. well, well, I, I think we could pick that conversation back up at the end of the season. Whether yes, that we can. Is, yeah, yeah. That to have that conversation now is kind of like, I think. No, but that's the thing. Like, no, we haven't got the context for that, and that's how it's being presented to us. So, of course, this is the reaction you're gonna get. Of, co- of course, but like, yeah, but like, people are being uh, super negative. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's fine. That's fine that you could have your opinion about, but it's like I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you know, like there, there's there's are, there's a there's a fine line between like being constructive and just being an absolute tit. Yeah, like, yeah, but it's like it's a just, lot of people on the internet are absolute tits. I hear, I hear, what I, I hear a lot of people just like oh Disney's fu- uh, messing up my character again. You know, it's like. Okay, so we can. I understand that the the trailer is a presentation of to form your opinion, but like you also can't form a full opinion. No, you can't. No, off a two minute trailer, you know, and you know, like if if we can have like if the show ends and it's like it's the same thing. That's how our powers go. We can have that conversation again, and it will be a little. Oh, we will. I'll. We will, we will come back to this one a hundred percent. Whether I'm looking forward to that or not, I don't know. But like, but so we, we're I, gonna I think, we're gonna put a pin in this Miss Marvel conversation because this is yeah, yeah. I, but I think I think to have to have a hate like a, a this like crazy conversation that a, a a company ruined a character off a two minute trailer is kind of. I don't know. To me, it's acidine. I, I, I mean, know. Sony done I, it I think it's twice. I think, Sony done I think it twice can... recently. Yeah, well, three I times mean, actually. Sony. I take it back. Three times. Three, three but, times. But, they... that's... <laughs> but but that's a Sony. That's a company that. Yeah, but it's, hasn't... it proves that it proves that it can happen. It can happen, sure. Yeah, but like Sony has a uh, consistency to do. They that. do. They do. They do. In fact, and uh, yeah. and Disney doesn't really have that like that 
that track record of we're gonna really mess this up for you guys. No. We know you. And of course, the this all ties back around to Andor and how I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> And how I'm, I might be a totally different person when the show comes out because I'm not 100 percent judging or, it based on the trait. Well, I am 100 judging. Or, or but we may never I'm, do season two ever again. So I don't know. You know, like it, no, because I, I want the YouTube money from Andor. Like. Okay, then we'll do season two. But too fast. It it depends on the reaction. If like the numbers for season two are like horrendously low, we might not finish that season. <laughs> but that's a bridge we cross when we get there. But um, yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, to the complete opposite you know i was the same way with andor as i was with, well, not the same way exactly but you know a similar yeah. situation to andor with kenobi and look where i am right now like it's yeah well i think kenobi uh, obi-wan kenobi has the it has mcgregor behind it that, mcgregor that's the... yeah that's <laughs> no, the, that's i got the no problem difference. with diego luna is it not diego luna no, uh yeah i believe diego luna oh not diego luna but uh man i'm blinking uh, it's on diego <laughs> diego luna hey, i don't know is this Dil dilbert or it Maroney? is diego luna uh, hunt, yeah no I, I just thought i was like horrendously racist then yeah no, i said diego I, luna I, my, my brain went to ghost ride i'm like no that's probably reyes that's <laughs> not like no that's the, and then i couldn't get out of my head and then this, this is really bad but yeah you know similar boat yeah here i am i will absolutely gush about kenobi and i cannot wait to see where it goes yeah. Obviously, I know where it goes because it is a prequel and I know exactly what it's going to lead into. But there is a, an obvious story here that I didn't see coming. And I'm excited to see where it goes. And, it's, you know, and the more I think about it, it's just like, wow, this really is just Logan. It literally is as a little girl, as the old man. You're on the run. You're being hunted. Well, yeah, I think... <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> the, wow. the 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 Star Wars Logan, you know. Yeah. This is this is how my brain works when I'm awake and it actually functions properly. I can make these connections. This, you know, the whole twelve hours ago, I didn't make this connection in the slightest. I didn't even think. I mean, it. one more thing: were you surprised when Reva just cut that lady's hands off? <laughs> A little bit, yeah. I was like, "Oh, you bitch!" <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Well, I remember <laughs> seeing this. I remember for seeing it the first time, like, I think during editing phase, and uh, and I was looking, I was like, I don't think she's gonna do it. He's like, watch. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> I was like, oh okay. Um, no, because that moment's quick and it's loud. Nice. Uh, it's it's kind of nice. I, I I like her character. She's very impulsive and very like. She seems like a very good antagonist or slash villain for this series. I'm just I'm, I'm cutting that bit out. Right. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we will catch you all next week for episode two. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure when the crossover begins between Kenobi and Miss Marvel. Or the overlap, not crossover. I had to look that up. I'll, I'll, I'll... I want to say it's the last two weeks. Or last, the last I think week it's the last two weeks, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's definitely the back half of everything. So, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure that logistical hurdle when we get to it. So... We'll catch you next week, sir. Bye-bye.